All right. What the heck was that? This necklace has seen better days. Tell the batteries are dying. For some reason, the blue lights still work pretty well, though. I mean, that's on me, and I'm uh, pulling out a guitar. Of course, people are going to ask me to play things on it. And of course, that there is the, uh, like, level clear music to kind of show that you, you won, yay! Uh, that would kill me. Uh, so I spent 12 hours putting up the tree, it was up for 36 hours, and then I took it down. No, no, I can't. As it is, this damn thing's up till, like, February. Yeah. On this beautiful tapestry, or a crystal as Uli Turtle likes to repeat. Drink it, and I have like a Coke gallery, which is actually up top on the shelving. And um, I don't know why this idea took me so long to think of, but um, I started putting the bottles up there and I actually dated them. So this one is 2021. So obviously, we got another one somewhere down the road that will be dated for 2022. <laughs> Every day of December gets like a little bit more exciting as you get closer to that big day. I'm trying to figure out whose voice that is. Uh, do you hear that? For the Christmas countdown, I'm going to need a little more room. Because as you guys know, I physically jump out of this couch, start screaming, run somewhere over there, run back, and then jump back into the couch... And I don't always look where I'm going, so I'm going to need a little more room for that. I love it, to be perfectly honest with you. I've always wanted a Christmas sweater in general. It just so happens to be a Sonic one. Okay, I'm going to put this m m down before people get the wrong idea about what this is and they think I'm selling toys or something. See, that's kind of a green right there. Got some nice kind of shiny green lighting there. I like green lighting, obviously. I did some green lighting last year. All right, it's a remix. All right, I can get down to this. See, I like the real one, but now I kind of miss the other one. And I've barely talked about this Christmas. I think Kraft Mac and Cheese is good. Oh, we're still on this topic. Um, the Christmas logo of 2021, and of course this Christmas season, uh, is lovingly dedicated to my granddad, who passed away in 2005. Um, always a role model of mine for his, his sense of humor, his, his uh, propensity for graphics, all things like that. And this idea came to me pretty early on that I wanted to do like a toy themed kind of logo. And um, I was like, the idea hit me really quick, like toys. What would be like a toy type of thing I could use? And then I'm like, well, didn't my grandfather design me a toy box when I was a kid? And sure enough, I mean, I know he did, but um, he made all these different graphics, which aren't immediately evident here. But I, um, so I actually like took a picture for inspiration of the toy box with the different French curves and shapes and I mean, the colors I made up myself, but, um, you know, there was a rocking horse, there was a uh, bicycle, there was even a pirate flag on the toy box he designed me, which I used. It's not really evident here, but it is in some of my videos. I used, like, a 2021 flag, and I used that shape as inspiration for the flag. It's not a pirate flag anymore, it's a candy cane flag. But, um, so everything in this logo, besides, like, the font, is, like, something that was somehow created by him. So in addition to this which is my homage to him. I have a couple pictures on the walls that I'm, unfortunately I can't really get in the stream. Um, different Christmases, and in the corner, you can't really see it, but it says, Thank you, Granddad, in like kind of small font in the, in the bottom left corner. So, you know, just kind of letting people know. And I, I mentioned it in the video, too, that I revealed this logo, but I didn't really go into great depth about it. Uh, the toy train is actually something I did create from scratch, so that's not one of his graphics, but it's inspired by his graphics. But, like, when I was, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old, you know, Christmas was, like, a whole different meaning. And you don't really get that back, even, even if I'm still excited about it. It's not the same. I do 
you want this song. Lights, camera, action! Those you've been betrayed when you can't help but follow. It puts you right back where you came. See, every time I turn this off on here, it doesn't save the music mode. Do they know it's Christmas? 1984. Yes, 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 we know. It's like the longest title ever. On Amazon. I always like the end of the year. I, I, I'll i admit, I slack off a little bit more, but I don't know. It's, it's just kind of, it's whatever. No, but no, I'm not, I've, I've never really had a formal vacation vacation before. Of course. A windowsill, my Christmas tree. I'm actually not a bad shot of the Christmas tree. I might keep that for something. I don't know what. <laughs> this in fact I mentioned this in my various phases of Christmas acceptance where I'm like is it really like Christmas time and it's like yes it is all right let's get some more Christmas music in here there are some that go to music I'm not gonna go nuts on this part of the show I'm just kind of showing it just to kind of show that I you know do a lot of different things that maybe aren't as obvious as like the tree or the you know the big big stuff let's see here picked up this uh freaking guitar at one point and just strummed it once. That was fun. Oh, I might actually use this for my party. This is kind of cool. Yeah. I'm putting the guitar away. Kind of grooving. Action! <laughs> <laughs> 